I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 278, sponsored by the Nokia 5300 Music Phone and my favorite, Drobo. A few weeks ago, I got an N810 internet tablet in the mail. I wanted to give it some time before I did a review because there's a lot inside and my initial reaction is to compare it to the iPhone. It isn't a phone at all though. It's a handheld internet tablet that allows you to do pretty much everything on the internet that you can do when accessing the net from a computer. Little extremely important things work on the N810 like control C and control V for copy and paste. You can even watch flash videos on sites like YouTube and Ustream. Nokia does something with the N810 that's massive for me. Just like on the iPhone, Google Docs are accessible, but on the N810, they're editable. That's enough to make me not want to leave home without the N810, but there's something else. You can pair the N810 with a Bluetooth keyboard. Even better, it works with these new Apple keyboards. That's potentially killer because it's so portable. I can fit the N810 and an Apple keyboard in a purse and take it to a coffee shop to write. It's such a shame that Apple hasn't made the same thing possible on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. The N810 is powerful. The industrial design is wonderful, and the ability to work using a Bluetooth keyboard is killer. Ultimately, though, it desperately needs mobile broadband built in. The need for Wi-Fi is almost a fatal flaw. Yesterday, we were out of the studio working on special shows for Christmas. There were a couple open Wi-Fi spots in the area, but I was never able to connect. I also couldn't connect via Bluetooth from my phone, so the tablet while I was out yesterday was a brick. You can install lots of applications. One of my favorites is called WeBot. Once installed, it gives you tablet access to photos and music from your Macs, PCs, and Linux computers over the internet. Again though, you have to be in a spot that has Wi-Fi. On the other hand, you can install applications on it that don't require internet access, including over 30,000 apps created for the Palm OS. On a scale of PC to Mac, with one being a PC and 100 being a Mac, I'm a 75. Neil is a 98. Neil thought the process of updating the N810 software was painful. I think it's kind of fun. If the phrase reboot your terminal intimidates you, you might not be a tablet candidate. If you like the technical stuff, you'll probably have a blast with the Nokia tablet. Nokia is still selling the N800, and the N810 OS works on the N800. My guess is the upgrade will give you the same Bluetooth keyboard access you get with the N810, but I gave up on the upgrade after trying for four hours. If anyone knows, please post a comment in the show notes at www.geekbrief.tv. Now, let's talk about Drobo for a second. Raise your hand if you've lost a hard drive. Hmm, that's a lot of you. Hard drives are gonna fail because the mechanics inside wear out. If your hard drives are in a Drobo, losing one isn't a big deal because your data is kept safe. You can get a Drobo at drobostore.com and if you use discount code CALI, C-A-L-I, you'll save $50. I'm Callie Lewis, thanks for watching. Although it's an <laughs> that wasn't your <laughs> Nokia is still selling the N800 and the N810 oh